been months, and I reinstalled my cricket bowls to see if the frogs still remember how to use them. These are the lucky contenders coated in calcium. These are equivalent to the goat that's chained up in Jurassic Park. These are banded crickets, so I normally pluck a leg off so they don't jump out like kangaroos. The frogs are already beginning to gather. Let's see how much they remember. Look at this little creep hiding in the bushes. Twonky is out here making some moves. She's determined to catch this cricket off guard who nearly has freedom in sight. Look at that footwork. She's nearly ready to pounce on the prize. And right when you think she's about to take the opportunity, Yellow Frog steals the spotlight. I feel like I'm watching a Spider-Man movie. Look at those sticky little legs. Somebody throw a piece of bread at him. Moments later, Twonky goes in for a snack. Yummy in her tummy. Meanwhile, Jumbo Frog pulls up for some action. Now, dark forces are gathering to devour life forms. Yellow Frog retreats to a slumber after failing miserably. Jumbo Frog's belly is growling. She fumbles. She's desperate to devour a life form. Look at that gooey tongue she flips over. It's like a sticky booger. Jumbo Frog takes the L. But she won't give up tonight without having one life form to devour. She takes the high ground and gains a tremendous advantage. A life form is just moments from being enveloped by total darkness. Jumbo Frog pounces and develops not one, but two life forms. Her stomach expands with each passing second. Jumbo Frog fills her belly with a vengeance. Her single brain cell prevailed this day.